Hey, what's up, everybody? What I want to do is go over something here real quick with you guys. Um, I'm getting, getting a few few requests on um, how I scale bats. So I want to go over that with you guys, but I also want to show you how the way I scale bats and kind of tell you their loads is kind of flawed. But um, let's start out here with a scale. This is just your typical food scale. I picked this up at Walmart for maybe like nine or 10 bucks. Um, um, I put some line marks here and try to center it. I measured it the dead center so I could get a more accurate reading every time I did a bat. So let's start here. And what I've got here this time is a 26 ounce bat. It happens to be an Easton Bam. It's a balanced bat. So we're gonna put it here dead center in the bat, in the center. And it's 26 ounces even. So then we're gonna take the bat. And this is how I would normally do my inload. So my inload is at 17.9 ounces, okay? And this is when I would, you know, yell out in my video, say, hey, this bat has a 17.9 ounce inload. All right, now we're gonna do the handle, flip the bat over, line it up, and then we would say it has a 9.5 ounce handle weight. So, and this is bat, is a particular model is a balanced bat, okay? Long barrel. Now we have a Easton Wham, which is a 26 ounce, which is basically Easton's half ounce inload. And what we're gonna do here is put it on the scale. Well, trying to here. And it comes in at 26.1 ounces, right? Now we'll do the handle weight. See here. So we're at 18.4 ounces, correct? All right. That's the inload. Here comes the handle. The handle is at 9.1 ounces. So this bat is basically a short barrel, half ounce inload bat, which is the wham. So the handle weight in the in the wham was 9.1 and the handle weight in the bam is a 9.5 and the inload in the in the wham was a 18.3 and the bam was a 17.8 that would be kind of easy to determine saying hey that would tell you your load but let me show you something here real quick you would basically say that was a balanced bat compared to an inloaded bat correct well i got this bat right here and i'm gonna put this on a scale here all right, this bat, you would say, is a 16 ounce inload, right? Well, here's what I did. I cut the end cap off this bat and it has absolute no, no load in the bat. I can stick my finger down and there's nothing in the bat, okay? Let me pull this bat off. I'm gonna take this roll of tape and put it in the center here. What does that tape weigh? 1.6 ounces, correct? So let's pull the tape off, put the bat back. Like we're gonna scale the end load again. All right, now we're gonna take this tape and give this bat an end load. So we would say, hey, this is 17.7 ounce end load, right? So take the bat back off at 16 even, but let's, let's see what we do here. If we put the bat, the weight in the middle of the bat, correct? So what would we say this bat would be? It would be a mid load, correct? But look here. It's saying it's got a 17.3 ounce inload. But how does it have an inload, or 17.2, with no load in the bat? So if I, if I didn't know any better without the manufacturer telling me this has, has an inload, I would basically say this is an inloaded bat, or the inload would be this way. And you could do the same thing putting the load because it could also contradict, not necessarily contradict, but it could also determine the loading in the handle also. So, but if I take this tape back off, put it back down here to end load, 17.7. So it wasn't that big significant of a difference in between the two. And that's my point is saying this, trying to determine a load on a bat by using a scale isn't correct. It's, it's just, it's flawed. It could be very well flawed. So we could be taking mid load bats and trying to determine them they're um, end loaded. So basically saying a manufacturer is not you know, it doesn't, if they don't tell you what the loading is, they would basically, you know, you would try to say this is what the load is. 
that's just me showing you how I do it. Basically also telling you how flawed it is, but I'll still continue to do it for you guys. But I just wanted to show you that real quick, guys. I appreciate you listening. We'll talk to you later.